So, we're on the PC, and this is the software here in the middle, as you can see, I'm lighting it up, and I've highlighted it there. Okay, so this is actually the software I'm showing you. Um, it's Blender, uh, so we'll just go and open this up now. Um, so yeah, this is the 3D graphics design software. It'll come up with this, just ignore that. Um, so yeah, this is the 3D graphics design software. Um, so this is the start off print, so it comes up with this. And it kind of really has, so you can have links to donate, the links to credit, the release log, the manual, the Blender website. User community and that. So I'll just go quickly sh pop on and show you the website. So, there we go. I'll just move my laptop back. There we go. Okay, so this is, this is, this is the website. So there's, there's obviously it for Windows and it's compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista and XP. Mac operating system, Linux, uh, some other things, but yeah. Um, so there's there's two different bit rates. There's 64 and there's 32. Um, depending on the amount, I think it's like the amount of RAM or something you have. Um, like go with whatever. So say you have like a good high quality, I don't know, gaming PC then go for the 64 bit um, but if you have a laptop like me uh, which is actually the Dell you can't see it, I don't really know why I'm trying to fix it yeah but if you have a laptop like the, the Dell Inspiron or any other like Acer or whatever go for the 32 bit because that's what I've got um, and it, it's not laggy if you had the 64 bit Every time you went to go and click something, it would like it would basically the program won't respond, then it would crash your computer because that's what happened to my dad. He tried downloading the sixty, he downloaded the thirty-two bit one on his Windows Vista XP, uh, Windows Vista, and basically whenever he went to go and click something, it basically crashed. And yeah, it didn't turn out very well. Um, no, it it, it just crashed and then I had to turn it back on, and then he went to go and click on things still didn't work. So I would I wouldn't I'd only recommend downloading it if you have a Windows 7 or Windows 8. Uh, or Windows 8 because Vista and XP they're old. So yeah, we'll come off this website and now we'll go on to here. This is the actual so program. So as you can see here, recover last session it doesn't actually work. Cuz I tried using it when I was making my sister a minion for her birthday. Uh, and yeah, I forgot to save it went recover last session and it basically crashed the software and like it crashed the software and I lost it all like basically forever so I had to redo that again so oh, it has donations and there's the website browser credits and it just opens up the it just has the little the little um Um, I think it's a URL or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But yeah, it has all that. You can look at this if you download it yourself. Um, the current version is uh, Blender 2.69 or 2.69 or 2.69.0. Uh, and there's actually a, this film that was made using this, uh, which I think you can go check out on their website. Go so go check that out. Um, and then like there's an interaction stuff, but I just use preset. So we're gonna click on the edge and then as you can see here this is the default module this is the module that you start off with um, this is actually how I'm, I, I started making my minion um, I don't, oh, I won't leave the link to that because they took down the video um, so this is the default module um, there's a load of stuff on the edges and stuff that are a bit strange that I didn't. You don't actually have to use all of them. Uh, it's just the basic thing. So this is your starting grid, and then you have a cube. Oh, what have I done? No, nope, I haven't done anything. Uh, you have a cube in the center. Um, if you right, this yeah, right click on this these two things. Um, it should tell you what it is down here. Uh, oh no. Yeah, right. 
me just extend this thing here. Right, so you look over here guys, it has like the camera, the cube, the lamp. Right click on the cube and it lights up the cube. This is the camera, this is the lamp, and then all sorts of stuff. Like that. So these are all the visible things that you can you can actually see. And then yeah. So these are all the things you can see. So there's there's different like moduli type things. So there's the full view. Oh my god, the amount of like no, I'm not even joking this. The amount of times I've tried doing a video on this and then my dad walks in. It's unbelievable. So hopefully I will try and get a full video done. So as you can see you can zoom right the way out and then right the way in and the block just comes huge and then you can go out so it's a 3D full view animation I, d I didn't actually make my sister a, mo a mini movie I, I made her uh, uh, just a, a normal thing compositing uh, just a normal model default which is what I showed you earlier game logic which if it works there we go um, which basically means you can move things from forward to backwards to forward to backwards so say I wanted to go add a sensor so on the edge here yeah, add a sensor uh, I don't know what you're doing, mouse uh, never done this before actually no, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll add a keyboard and then we'll delete the mouse no, that was the keyboard right. keyboard and then say you wanted to do W forward W add an actuator uh, where is it motion sorry about that and then you can go Y so this is the Y axis the green one here so you can go Y and that will move that point 10 that will move that point 10 of a meter a millimeter so W uh, P for play, and then oh, and then as you can see, no, W not working. Ah, guess what? Guess what? Once you've done that, you see these two dots here. You see these two dots here. You just basically grab one and put it. And you can minimize that, minimize that, and then you can hit P, and then as you can see, the shadow on the cube. There was a shadow on the cube, so let's say we moved this the light here, and then we hit P, yeah, it will get dimmer. That this is the good thing with this. This is why I love this. So keyboard, and then say we wanted to do S for backwards, so we're gonna do standard for Minecraft. Standard. I think this is like standard stuff. So we want to move it m minus one on the Y axis. Uh, so we'll grab that and link you up with you and minimize you and minimize you and then hit P so we'll move the light and move the light we'll put it the light there yeah. so hit P now look you can see it's really really bright and then if it does work it should hopefully move back into the way of the light hopefully don't know hopefully it does right so yeah that's basically that that's the game logic I've probably spent like half a video on this I'm not even joking how long have I spent nine minutes on just doing this most probably so motion dragon basically how they make Call of Duty's and stuff how they make like the mainstream games like I don't know Call of Duty Ghosts or Borderlands 2 or Battlefield they get characters and they run and do all that and then they put the, like the white balls on them and then they, they would track them and track all their movements so that's that, UV editing, have no clue what that is and video editing so oh yeah just quickly before we start no this is game logic up here there's blender render blender game and cycles render I have no clue what cycle render does Blend game is actually how I make games on this um, and then Blender render, but on the old, not on the old one, on 
the laptop I uh, or this laptop before the hard drive wiped. Um, I did actually have two games that I've made in it. One of them was a a maze game, and then another one was a, another maze game, but multi-layered maze. So there was maze one, easy maze, then you went up a few steps, you like jumped up a few steps onto maze two that was like medium, and then you jumped up another three steps, and then you went onto a hard maze, and then you went on to an extreme maze, and yeah. So basically, it was like it it was it was difficult. I'm just saying that. It, 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 it's difficult to get hang of. It was difficult. It was difficult to get the hang of it. Uh, so this is how I make. This is how I, I sometimes make my videos. So we go onto this thing here that was just down here. Now it's up here. Yeah, it has basically. Get back. It has basically everything you can do. Movie clip editor. What the hell? God. <laughs> File browser. And then I don't know what I've done. So let me just quickly shut down. Bar browser. Okay, so basically there's that band cam. I don't know why that's still there, so I don't even use that anymore. I actually use Dell Webcam Central. Uh, and then there's loads of recorded videos and stuff in there. But, and then, basically what I used to do is I used to grab this thing up the top, drag along that, and then go on to properties, and uh, that's where I would, like, set the bit rate, the frame rate, the weight, the frame rate, I would, like, performance, the processing of it, like, the output, where it would go, uh, the bake, which is where the bit rate is, and then, like, freestyle, I don't know what any of that is. Yeah, basically, on this software, what you can do is you can like you can set the preferences and stuff. So I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you quickly what each module is. So like on the old Move Maker for Win uh, Vista and XP, this is your timeline. You don't actually have that on. I don't. I don't actually. You don't actually have that on this anymore. Windows Move Maker. This is live. This is the Windows Seven. Windows 8 version. You don't actually have a timeline anymore. I don't even think you can change it into timeline. Uh, boom. Uh, yeah, you can't change it into timeline anymore. But yeah, this is timeline. This is your viewing module. And then obviously you can get properties of this up and stuff, which is just makes it bigger. sequence there we go um oh view properties and then that shows the properties of like this so you can change some of the textures and stuff um and then it gets all complicated because you have to do all this and i did i did actually have um an open office document which is this thing here which is like word but for free um uh, i did actually have a an open office document with all the instructions on how to edit a video but yeah, so this is your, your timeline, file browser, properties, viewing module. Oh, oh sorry. Um, I'm, I'm I'm acting like I'm editing the video. This is not good. Right. Um. So, so your video the visual effects and then like down in here you can do like shift M no shift S shift A there you go and like oh shift A and then you can shift A movie and then like that just adds in the movie ah oh, I just shut down Blender but yeah anyway that's that's it. basically it for Blender just let it load up again so that's basically it for Blender. Um, ah, I actually have something that can tell you, that can show you the what I mean by timeline. The old PVR software, like you can see the new one here is Half Capture, but the old one used to be ArcSoft Showbiz 
video editing software, you start like a capture module and stuff. Here we go. There's the capture module here. So yeah, the device is not available or being used by another application. And then like that's produced, so you can make a DVD, you can create a photo, or you can just upload it straight from YouTube. Ah, where's timeline? Timeline. This is the what I mean by timeline view, bro. Timeline view. Okay? But don't use that it's bad. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a rate, comment, subscribe. If you are gonna download the software, I will I will leave a link in the video description below. So, let's thank you everybody for watching. If you do wanna know what software I use, uh, let me just go on custom area. But it, as you can see up here it does say Did I move this custom area? Uh oh, how do I get rid of it? That as you can see up here I do I do actually use Dell Webcam Central. So see my face. Uh entire desktop. Okay, so Dell Webcam Central. Get it. Comes on every single basically every single <laughs> Dell thing. So thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you later.